Hello, it's Pastor Keith from Mililani, Christ Lutheran Church, and it's morning prayer for December 12th, 2022. Welcome. Glad you could be with us for scripture, prayer, and blessing. The scripture for this morning is Isaiah 29, starting at the 17th verse, and is a prophecy of hope for the future. That's something we could stand to do a little bit more with, couldn't we? Hope for the future. Hear these words. Shall not Lebanon in a very little while become a fruitful field, and the fruitful field become regarded as a forest? On that day the deaf shall hear the words of a scroll, and out of their gloom and darkness the eyes of the blind shall see. The meek shall obtain fresh joy in the Lord, and the neediest people shall exalt in the Holy One of Israel. For the tyrant shall be no more and the scoffer shall cease to be. All those alert to do evil shall be cut off. Those who cause a person to lose a lawsuit, who set a trap for the arbiter in the gate, and without grounds deny justice to the one in the right. Therefore, thus says the Lord who redeemed Abraham concerning the house of Jacob. No longer shall Jacob be ashamed, No longer shall his face grow pale, for when he sees his children, the work of my hands in his midst, they will sanctify my name. They will sanctify the Holy One of Jacob and will stand in awe of the God of Israel. And those who err in spirit will come to understanding, and those who grumble will accept instruction. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The scoffer, I think we read that in, uh, I think that was Peter, Second Peter last week, wasn't it? The scoffer shall uh, cease to be. Beware of scoffers and tyrants and uh, those who cause a person to lose a lawsuit. Hmm. Got enough of those going on. More familiar, fruitful fields, the deaf hear, the eye see, the meek experience joy. And there is justice in the world. Hey, Pule Kaka, let us, let us pray. Mighty and merciful God, lover of justice and equity, you call us to support the weak, to help those who suffer and to honor all people. By the power of your Holy Spirit, make us advocates for your justice and instruments of your peace, so that all may be reconciled in your beloved community. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. And now, may the God of justice and mercy, who heals, feeds, forgives, and makes things right, order your day and your deeds in the divine peace. Amen.